How's it going everyone, Two Base here. In today's video, I'm gonna take a look back at the old TV series, Mr. Meaty. So without any more stalling, let's roll the intro. Mr. Meaty was created by Jamie Shannon and Jason Hopley. Shannon and Hopley have been working with each other since they were teenagers. Shannon and Hopley both created the Groves Puppet Company in 1994. Shannon had first developed the idea for the puppet company while traveling in Europe and seeing the prominent palace puppets have a street theater. He and Hopley then developed puppets for children's birthday parties. Fun fact, before creating Mr. Meaty, Shannon and Hopley made a show called Netherland for Nickelodeon Noggin. The show ran from 1999 to 2004. Mr. 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 Meat is a Canadian television series that premiered on Nickelodeon in 2002. The series begins as a series of shorts that played between other programs on Nickelodeon from 2002 to 2005. Mr. Meaty centers around two teenage boys working at a food court in a fictional mall. The first teenager name is Parker, the nerdy gluttonous character voiced by Jason Hopley, and the other teenager name is Josh, the self-centered uncharacter character voiced by Jamie Shannon. The boys are often placed in bizarre situations. Some episodes they are seen dealing with common issues for a teenager such as dating and peer pressure. The characters for Mr. Meat are pretty strange <gasps> but i think my favorite character overall is mr carney better be a rip snorting success by gum or i'll serve you as all dove in the next board meet huh you hear me hmm? Hmm? Huh? what's that what i can't hear you i hear you screaming but i don't feel your pain oh and uh by the way <laughs> I love this thing, I really do. I gotta get a few more for Christmas. Who do you think is more of a sociopath, him or Mr. Krabs? The show was created specifically for a teenage audience. More than 50 puppets were created for Mr. Meaty. Hopefully explained that he wanted the puppets to be awkward and weird to represent that in-between stage kids go through. Nickelodeon ordered a season of full-length episodes around September of 2005. A pilot title in Parker's site aired on December 30th, 2005. A year later, the series made its official debut on Nickelodeon. This September, a brand new show comes to Nick. It's called Mr. Meaty, and it looks a little something like this. Think you can handle more? Go to nick.com slash meaty right now for job applications. Mr. Meaty menus, exclusive web videos. Hello again, trainee. And more. So sink your teeth into Mr. Meaty right now at nick.com slash meaty. Mr. Meaty was mostly known for his gross and disturbing humor. Around the time the second season aired, the gross humor was toned down a bit and the second season focused more on teenage problems. Mr. Meaty also got a lot of criticism from parents and vegetarians. There was even a petition going around to get Mr. Meaty canceled. On May 23rd, 2009, Mr. Meaty was canceled after 20 episodes due to low ratings, negative remarks from parents, and with the petition's help, Nickelodeon just decided just to cancel the show altogether. Jamie Shannon runs a website where he posts works from his previous shows that he worked on. You can also commission him to make puppets. The most recent thing he's done in film is playing a snowman in a short film called Kafkaville. Jason Hopley has written for a series called Ollie, the boy who became what he ate. He also produced and puppeteered for a Canadian kids show called the Studio K Show, where he played a puppet named Gary. Mr. Media was definitely a, I say, interesting show that definitely left an impression on his viewers around that time. Oh, does anyone remember when Parker and that golf chip put their hands in a deep fryer and then ate it? Oh, that's really good. Whoa. That is so disgusting. I love it. Yeah.
that's pretty much it make sure to hit the like button and show my channel some support and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new um for the next video i may do something disney related or i may do it like another okko okay video i'm not really sure yet but either way stay tuned so until next time see you